Jonathan Lee Rich is in Investigates. I am in Horry County, South Carolina. Let's talk about this case right here. Let's talk about this young man right here. This is 18-year-old Trevor John Innes. And he vanished early Sunday morning from inside this gated community here. This is right outside Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, can't go in there, but his neighborhood is in there. Now it's real close to a river here and authorities and volunteers have been searching all over the place since Sunday morning when he was discovered gone from this neighborhood. There's not much information out about this case thus far, but there is a newspaper article. Uh, there are some online articles and I want to share this information and get Trevor's name out there. It says, and I'm going to read this, and this is coming from 15 ABC 15 News. Search underway on Waccamaw River for missing Horry County team. And it says, Horry County Police Department is searching for Trevor Innes, 18, who was last seen early Sunday morning. Police said he was last seen around 1.30 a.m. in a green shirt with a left side pocket and a black adidas shorts near chamberlain road off of bay road near socasti and that is in this development right here uh that's where he vanished so it continues that's continuous he is approximately six foot two 150 pounds with shaggy brown hair and blue eyes community members in the island green myrtle beach golf and yacht club resort in cypress river neighborhoods are asking asked to check their surveillance cameras for any sign of Innes. HCPD is also searching the Waccamaw River, which they said is protocol for any investigation in close proximity to water source. If you have any credible information about Trevor's whereabouts, contact HCPD 843-248-1520. Now, the river, this is like a gated community, so it's safe to say that there's surveillance probably leading out of this, his neighborhood. Through the woods there is the river. And I'm going to take you down to the river. I can't access it this way, but there's a boat launch right out here. Let me just spin the camera around you the area. Henry Middleton Boulevard and Bay Road. And the development is here. And you can see clearly surveillance, surveillance. This is Cypher River Plantation Development. Residents only, right lane, barcode required. So if he was to leave, as you see the surveillance there, and it's probably most likely on the other side uh, of the road here. Where is this young man? Uh, this is, you know, pretty close to Myrtle Beach about 15 minutes away and you know the Michael Miller case was getting a lot of tension so you got to go through security to get out of here now did he wander off don't know much about what he was doing out at one little after 1 a.m. early Sunday morning was he under the influence did he have uh, mental issues did he get picked up by anyone uh, wander through the woods Go down to the river, which authorities said they're ser searching for protocol. It's a mystery. But what we're going to do right now, folks, is I'm going to go down to the river, down the street down here. And I'm going to take you down here and we're going to check out the river and kind of wander around down there. Check it out. Okay, folks. So this is the Waccamaw River and his neighborhood is right over there. His neighborhood is right over there. It's about a mile away from the entrance we started out and all within there is all these houses. And authorities apparently are searching this river area. And one thing I do wanna mention folks is that the description, the last description of Trevor, you know, they didn't say anything about a vehicle. So I'm, I'm assuming no vehicle picked him up. Now the question is, did he run away? Did he wander down and fall into the river? Was he pushed in the river? And look at this, we got a boat coming. Got a boat coming. Let's go over on this uh, pier here. 
And this is a boat launch. And uh, people come and launch their boats and go into the river here. And I can see through the trees. I can see through the trees neighborhood. Um, now look at this. What do we got going on here? What do we got going on here? Need a life jacket? Look, they even give you life jackets. They even give you life jackets, which is interesting. Um, that's, now this river here, I mean, you got big boats coming. Look at this boat coming. Look at this, folks. A big sailboat. And this is the neighborhood. I'm, I'm, this this connects. This is part of his neighborhood. So he lives in this community here, and along the community, you see there's homes, some docks. But Trevor work his way down to the river, or not? But they are, as protocol, searching the area. Uh, this looks deep. And it's about a hundred something feet wide. And the probably most likely is a current up here. The water splits. Go that way to the right, or you can go that way to the left. And there's homes along the water. So, what happened to Trevor? keep his name out there when i get more of information about this particular case i will share with all of you on jlr investigates i'll try to get an understanding of who he is who's his associates maybe reach out to his family to get some insight or any information that could be helpful to share with all of you i am jlr investigates we are boots on the ground Horry county praying that trevor will be found we'll talk soon Jailer Investigates. Stay tuned.